I betcha I could gel print these. Hi, I'm Jessica Russo Cher, and let's do some experimenting with mixed media, gold leaf, and jelly plate printmaking. I had all of these leftover photographs that I took from a painting that I'm working on. I didn't edit these for jelly printing. They are just higher resolution, color printed laser images. I'm using my 16 by 20 inch jelly plates and rolling out a nice thin, even layer of acrylic paint. I lay my laser print down, gently press, and pull it back. I was very pleasantly surprised to see how well it transferred. It's a relatively complicated image with lots of small details and some parts didn't come out. I don't mind that. I like the texture, especially with something like this. That's based on urban photography that has a bit of grittiness to it. I start the reverse painting by painting the details. I am being completely experimental here. I'm laying down some gold leaf in some of the empty spaces. And when I start using gold leaf, I can't go directly in with the brayer. I like to do a little bit of finger painting on the first layer. This is the transfer layer, the full cover of paint that needs to be applied in order to get everything to lift up off of the gel plate and end up on the bristol. I let it sit weighted for probably about 24 hours before I started to pull it up. I find with the gold leaf a lot of residue ends up on the plate but it really does stick quite well. I really like the way this came out. I wanted to go in with even more gold leaf because you know what? Shinier is better sometimes. Adding gold sizing and applying the gold leaf with a soft brush. Just gently whisking away the extra bits. It is really important that your sizing is tacky to the touch, otherwise you can ruin your brush. I like to use a little bit of a circle motion to remove the extra gold leaf. Then I went in with even more acrylic paint to bring some parts forward and push some parts back. And there is the final work. A little bit of a mixed media way to level up your gel plate printing.